Some people started singing and I know we want it one And they'll continue singing it for Just because this is the song that never ends <sighs> Why, of all the things to be stuck in my head Why that? You're going to have to excuse me. I filmed this video yesterday in a full face. Looked really cute, I must say. And the footage is terrible. It's out of focus. Like, my center of focus was over there. So, here we are. I have no foundation on. Just th literally threw makeup on my face in like two seconds. And I have a baseball hat on. <laughs> We are here today, we are gathered here today to celebrate 2020's best blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Uh, my favorite category, I must say, because highlighter is just fun to talk about. Eyeshadow is always fun too. But today, blush, bronzer, highlighter, best of 2020, let's do it. What should I start with? We'll start with blush. How about that? So, okay. I had a difficult time deciding between these two. What? So, I had a hard time deciding between these two. Couldn't figure out which one I liked better. I knew I wanted to talk about one. Not really wanted to talk about both, but I couldn't pick. I do think I like this one better. So, this is the Ofra and Samantha March duo in Chiclet. It is such a beautiful amazing blush i love just mixing them together and you get the sheen it's not too much sheen it's just gorgeous freaking gorgeous let me give you a little swatchy poo it's so pretty it's this like dusty kind of like rosish color i don't even know how to describe it but it's such a pretty shade formula is amazing wore her a ton this year. Now this Buxom blush is similar. So this is the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Seychelles. This one is similar, but a little bit softer. So here I'll do a little side by side. Excuse that little cut on my finger. I mean, on my hand. So you can see Seychelles is definitely like a softer, very, very similar color. Like they're super similar. So I do love both of them. Um, if I had to pick one though, I think I would go with Ofra, but I did wear both of these quite a bit, so they both made the cut. Of course, I have to mention my queen, Milani Luminoso. This is in my favorites every year. Oh my God, I thought that was the blush. Oh, I love this blush so freaking much. It's just the perfect amount of sheen and color. Like, look at that. If you have deep skin, you could even wear that as a highlighter. I don't even know if that's showing up, but it is so pretty. So if you're on the more fair, like fair to medium, you can wear this as a blush. If you have a deeper skin tone, this is such a beautiful highlighter. The formula is freaking incredible. This is in my favorites every year. It's just a hard one to top. It's, and it's drugstore. It's like, what, $10? Not even $10. Go buy it. Right now, I'll wait. I must say 2020 was the year of cream blush for me, but my most worn powder blush, this was in my favorites last year as well, the Burt's Bees blush in Bare Peach. It is my favorite powder blush. I don't even know why. Like, it's just a basic blush, but the formula, like, it just blends onto your skin so beautifully. It's so soft and, like, subtle. So pretty. So, so, so good. If you have not tried the Burt's Bees blushes, you're really missing out. People talk about them all the time. I mean, I don't know if they still do. These were really popular, like, a year ago. Um, they're inexpensive so beautiful and I have worn this thing oh my gosh a thousand times and look it looks like I haven't even worn it that much like they last forever my favorite like top of the line the honest cream blush in truly exciting oh my gosh I think this was in last year's video it is my most favorite cream blush the formula is unbeatable 
The formula is just so good. I got this one on Amazon. It just, if you're afraid of cream blush, you have to try this one because the formula is so forgiving. It's not too, like it's not too greasy and emollient. Amazing, amazing, amazing cream blush. The best cream blushes that I've ever used. I wear this so often. Even if I want to do powder blush, sometimes I will put this under just to kind of give it that staying power. Good. And if you have oily skin, you can wear it. It will just look magical. Another one that I love is the Glossier Cloud Paint. So I couldn't decide between, I have Dusk and I have Beam, but I think I like Beam just a little bit more. Let me give you a little bit. It's just a really pretty peachy shade. But what I love about these is the formula. They honestly melt into your skin and just disappear. They feel like nothing. It, they're so easy to use and I know a product like this can be very intimidating. You need the tiniest bit. You can blend it out with your fingers. You can blend it out with a beauty brush. I mean a beauty sponge. I do both. Most of the time I'll just use my fingers because like the warmth from your fingers really helps them to like melt in. I can't say enough good things about the cloud paints. They are so 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 good. The color is very like subtle and natural, but you can certainly build it up. They feel like nothing. Like once they're blended out, it feels like nothing. I'm short of breath talking about this. Like, pull it together. Pull it together, baseball hat. So a newcomer that, oh my freaking goodness, the e.l.f. Putty Blush, you guys, these are five or six dollars. This one's in the shade Bahamas. This is my favorite one. They are freaking incredible. Oh my gosh. They're like, okay, so it's a cream, but it's like a drier cream, if that makes sense. Let me show you. Okay, so you got your, come on, you can focus. You got your little blush. You just blend it out. I don't even know if you can see that. You do kind of have to build them up just a little tiny bit, but they immediately turn to this like powdery finish. They blend beautifully into the skin. So many pretty colors to choose from. They are dirt cheap. The formula is so good, especially if you have oily skin because it kind of finishes off with this powdery finish, which is just so nice. Like they just look so natural and pretty. They don't look greasy. A lot of times with cream blushes, you put it on and then your cheeks are just like beaming. And if you're oily, that's not a good thing. So these are amazing. Oh my goodness. I have every color. I, I love them. I love them with every ounce of my soul. I love blush. <laughs> okay. We're moving on past blush, but dang. I really like talking about blush. Okay, let's do highlighter next. So my most worn highlighter is the Omrizi one from ABH. It was limited edition. You can't get it anymore. So I'm not going to show it and like rave about how good it is because you guys can't get it, but it's magical. Now my most worn highlighter overall, even more than the Omrizi one was this, the Wander Beauty On The Glow cream highlighter in nude glow. You guys, this is hands down the best cream highlighter that I've ever used in my entire life. I wear this every day. Even if I want to wear like a powder highlighter, I will put this on as a base. I have it on today. So good. And I just take a little bit on my finger and just do that. And it somehow it magically just blends itself into your skin. If you're a fan of cream highlighter and you have not tried Nude Glow from Wander or just anyone, like it doesn't have to be Nude Glow, but this color for my skin tone. Ow, I did like the proud boy, oh girl. Tell me that that is not the most beautiful cream highlighter that you have ever laid your eyes on. The formula. The formula. There is a little magic elf in here. 
that blends it out once you put it on your skin. All you have to do is slap it on there, like throw it on your face. Throw this at your face like a dodgeball and it will magically blend itself out. Don't ask me how, it just happens. Okay, Wet n Wild Hello Halo and After Sex Glow. This, I wore a ton this year. I don't mess with this guy, just this side. It's so, so beautiful. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. Like it's so glossy and shiny. The formula is thin. It's not one of those heavy, like wet feeling highlighters. Amazing, blends into your skin and looks so pretty. This on the inner corner and the brow bone, oh my goodness, I can't. It's amazing. It's one of my most worn, obviously, because we're talking about it. So good. And wet and wild, so it's very, very inexpensive. If I want, like, hardcore highlighter, we go for Molten Glow from Jouer. Look at the packaging. Ooh, she's a bad bitch. This one in the summer on tan skin, Lord help us all. The formula is next level. Like it's so smooth. Look at that. It's so smooth. The formula is so glossy and shiny. And oh my gosh. Is everything that I look for in a highlighter. I hate when they're powdery. I hate when they're like very heavy feeling. This one is so thin and gorgeous and it is so freaking like reflective and metallic without being like too much. It's so good. It is so, so, so good. I love the packaging. I love Jouer. I love everything about Molten Glow. In the summer, I am wearing this from head to toe. No life. Okay. Honorable mention goes to Champagne Pop because this is just one of the best highlighters ever. Again, the formula is so nice, but it is a little bit, well, a lot more powdery than um, the Jouer one. But I do love the color. It's that gorgeous, almost like a, it almost has like a hint of like a seashell, like peachiness to it, if that makes sense. It's down here. So, so good. I do like to wear this one more when I'm a little bit more tan. It's amazing. It's, I mean, there's a reason that it's a cult favorite. It's bomb. I have to ask for your deepest apology. I'm talking to you. I don't know how, but I failed to mention, like the reason that I wake up in the morning, hot sand. I, I set her aside, like on the side of my vanity, and I forgot, I, I'm so, I'm so sorry. This is, okay, this we love, obviously. This, on top of this, the most girl next door, subtle, I'm natural, but I drink gallons of water a day. Hot Sand from NARS. It's in my favorites videos every year. I, I can't, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. It has this tone to it that's like, it has a little bit of like a seashell thing going on that like pearlescent something. So natural and beautiful. You can amp it up. It is magical. I, I, I don't know how this happened. I'm so sorry. One of my favorites. One of my most worn. Nicole, you gotta get your shit together. Okay, another highlighter that I totally forgot to mention. Now, I strictly wear this on my inner corner and brow bone because this is blinding. And I would say if you're super fair, you will love this as a highlighter. If you're anything like medium to deep, this is like super light. This is Cookie from Benefit. It is stunning, stunningly gorge. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. It, the formula is everything I look for, very glossy, very shiny, a very like reflective, not powdery whatsoever formula. I'm even a little bit too dark to wear this as a highlighter. I can kind of wear it as a topper sometimes, but this on the inner corner is magic.
gorgeous. So I don't know how I forgot to mention her, you guys. I suck. And now moving on to bronzer. So my most worn was probably this one, Too Faced Sweet Tea. I have it on today. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I like a more like, not shimmery, but like luminous bronzer. I know that's not the thing for everyone, but it's what I like. This one I have worn the hell out of. I just really like the formula. I love the two colors mixed together. I don't know. There's just something about it that I love. It's called a baked luminous glow bronzer, which is so accurate. And it's a heart. Like, come on. Sorry, my center air just kicked on, so. I know it's loud. Another one that's very similar is Sun Bunny from Too Faced, where you have like the two sides, it's more luminous. This one is called a Radiant Duotone Bronzer. Same premise. Like I just kind of grab for whichever one I grab for first. I do like Sweet Tea a little bit more because it's more of like a cooler tone, whereas Sun Bunny, I'll do like a side by side. Um, Sun Bunny is a little bit more warm toned and I prefer the coolness of Sweet Tea. And we all know I be loving me some Sweet Tea, so. But these two I've worn a lot. We can't do a favorites video for bronzer without mentioning Becca Capri Coast. There's just something about the Becca Sunlit bronzers. They are so good. There's a few different shades to choose from based on your skin tone. This one is just like for the more pale bitches like me. I love them. I love, absolutely love the formula. So, so, so good. I feel like I talk about these every year in my favorites. Like these are, these are pretty unbeatable. And then another Ofra Samantha March collab. This one is the bronzer duo in River. So pretty. Now it is a little bit warm for me. I wish it were a touch more cool toned, but I wore this quite a bit. I just kind of mix together. I like how you have the matte and the like more luminous bronzer. It just gives such a nice, I don't know. It just gives like a really pretty finish on your skin. This is so nice. The Samantha March and Ofra collab was one of my favorites from the year. So I love the blush and the bronzer. But the only bronzer that I would need in my life, like I could honestly get rid of all of these, but I just wanted to show you like an array of my favorites. You guys already know. The Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. Wait, no. The Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer in Baked. Wow. This is all that I need in my life. It's my favorite thing. It blends out so perfectly. The color is magical. I've never met a cream bronzer that I liked really in my life and I love this one with all of my heart and soul. It's just so easy. Like who am I to be loving all of these cream products? It's very not me. In 2020 I kind of went from hating cream products to really really loving them. So I wear this one with the Hourglass, I don't know what this is called. I think it's just like the foundation brush. Love this so much, my number one bronzer of the year. How's that even possible? Like it doesn't even sound right when I say it. Like my favorite bronzer and my favorite blush were both creams. That is so weird, but I love it. Like I'm happy about it, I just think it's so weird. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot, I have unfavorites. Oh, Nicole, okay. So I have a few highlighter unfavorites. First up, the Ludacris Lights from Milani. I, yeah, I just didn't care for these. Not just because of the color, like I'm never gonna wear highlighters in these three colors, like blue, purple, and this like really loud pink. It was the formula for me. <laughs> it's the formula for me. They're very dry. They're very powdery. Look, look at that. No. No. Do you see how, like, it's so uneven. It's just, oh, goodness. No. No. 
I'm gonna swatch all of them so you can see that I'm not crazy. This color is so pretty, but look at that formula. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. No, it's just, they're, they just weren't that good for me. This is, again, with these videos, this is just my opinion. You might love these, and if you do, freaking rock it. But for me, I didn't, I wasn't a fan. All right, here's the blue one. Not to mention the glitter gets everywhere. See, now I love that color, like it's so cool but the formula is just not there. When I tried to wear these on my face, like look at what's left, the little bits of sparkle were everywhere, all over. The formula is so weird. It's almost like there's not enough of like the base product and all you get is like a ton of sparkle and like powderiness. It's, I really, really hated these. Love you, Milani, but these for me were a huge no. I'm so torn because I feel like these could have been so good if they just would have perfected the formula a little bit more. They're a little too chunky, a little bit too powdery, but like they were on the right track. These colors are so cool. Mm, disappointing. Okay, this e.l.f. one was downright <laughs> disgraceful. Elf, I love you with every ounce of my soul. Multi-dimensional face and body shimmer. There's not even a color on it. It was from the Retro Paradise line. Let me just show you. Um, Elf, do you know Milani? Are you two in cahoots? Like the formula, this one's actually better than the Milani ones, but it's not good. Like, I just don't know what they were going for because it's like they wanted it to be subtle, but it ha has a bunch of sparkle. And now this one is a little bit more shiny and glossy than the Milani ones, but it's still just a no, no, no. Like, I've tried to wear this as an eyeshadow topper and it just doesn't work. No. I hated this. I hated it so bad. It was pointless. The formula is so dry. It feels like you're not even getting anything. And what you get is like sparkly terribleness. <laughs> now I'm making no boards. So Too Faced. Too Faced. What the heck were you thinking? Turn up the light. Complexion enhancing highlighting palette. These were... These were such a disappointment for me. So you have Soft Focus. Wait, let me do it this way. Soft Focus, Glow, and then Dazzle. Nothing dazzled me whatsoever. I'm going to give you a swatch of all three. Now, the two, these two are not the worst. This one is awful. Oh, God. Okay, hopefully you're going to be able to see that. You might have to really see it in the close-up. But the formula was a huge miss for me. So the middle shade, like the soft focus, kind of like the hourglass ambient powders. No, it's very powdery and like heavy feeling. And there's not enough of like that luminosity to it where it becomes like the hourglass powders. The glow shade is the best one but it's not good. It's just like very dry. You don't get the really pretty like shiny, glossy, metallic like kick that you should. And the Dazzle shade is so dry, it falls all over your face and it gives no color. It just gives you this weird like sparkle that is not even sparkly, it's like powdery. Oh, goodness gracious. These were so bad. No. No! Like, why? 
I just imagine working like in the on the back lines and on the assembly lines and this product is coming through why did none of those workers say hold up stop production what the frick is that what is it I'm getting hives just talking about this stuff okay we all know the dilemma I had this year with the Revlon Wonder Woman liquid armor glow pot if you need some oil um, for your pan before you cook up your onions, girl, I got you right here. Okay, so this color is one of the most gorgeous colors I've ever laid eyes on. We had a whole discussion about this in one of my favorites videos, like unfavorites, you know. Look how beautiful that is. Tell me you don't want your body dripping in that from head to toe. You do. We all do. But it's so greasy. Oh my god. Like, how? Why? I just, damn, it's so pretty. And I want to love it so much, but it's like I took butter from the butter dish and I'm just rolling it around in my fingers. No, absolutely not. Revlon, you were so close because that color is so good. But the form yellow. How is anybody wearing that? I don't care if you're the driest person in the world. This is like putting butter honey on your face. You don't want to do it. I'm not exaggerating. I know I'm dramatic, but when I tell you the formula is god awful, like how did they even get it that greasy? Like I'm actually impressed they got it that greasy. Like what is in there? One thing I forgot to mention about this, I tried to wear this on my body, like in the summer, this, like on your shoulders, your chest, like down the front of your legs. The color is stunning, but everything was getting stuck to it. Like the greasiness of it never goes away. It never melts into your skin. It like, <sighs> I wish you guys could feel I've never felt a makeup product like this before. And it's not even like a facial oil feel, it's like butter feel, like that greasy, buttery. I, I just, I don't understand. But so upsetting to me because the color, the color is so good. Ooh, I try to reserve like yearly unfavorites for the really, really bad stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Settle down, you're gonna have an aneurysm. Okay, so that was my wrap up of blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. As always, let me know your favorites down below. I really wanna get this video up. So as soon as I'm done filming, we're gonna edit. Hopefully this will be up super quick. Um, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time, bye. Get that posture, girl. We don't need no hunchback. Drop the bass on the bass scale. Well, ring your sink down. I'm gonna sing this long. The man ain't never seen a boogie line dance. Oh god. What? I'm gonna sound like somebody's knocking on my door. It's like the perfect, like, bra and underwear. Nobody really knows it's there if you put something on top of it, which hopefully you are. Don't get arrested. But it just makes you feel so good. Where am I going with this? I don't know, but this is it. For the year, this was my favorite. Oh my god. She needs, like, a, a pedestal and you have not tried freaking nude glow from wonder beauty you're 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 defeated you're done your life is over so go buy it and then your life will come back to life um i gotta do something with this room i'm not happy you guys gotta tell me what to do okay i love you bye <laughs>